Over the years, guests have mentioned surprise at how physical a river trip can be, but commonly come off the trip saying it was the best trip that they've ever done. We'll show you some of the basic physical activities that are inherent to all of our Grand Canyon rafting trips. Get on and off the rafts. Multiple times each day, you'll get on and off the rafts. This can be a challenging maneuver on both our motorized and or powered rafts. The boats are slippery and moving. The ground will likely be uneven, rocky, sandy, and slippery. Hold on during the rapids. The rafts will have straps in a multitude of locations to grip as you're going downriver. It's important you find two handholds that will allow you to hold yourself in place and not be pitched one way or another. Move about steep, sandy, rocky beaches with your bags. The beaches in the Grand Canyon vary greatly. Many are sandy. Some have steep banks you must ascend to get to the camping area. Some are covered with slippery river rock. These beaches will be your home each night on the river, so you can expect to be walking about them often. Participate in the Duffel Shuffle. For those who are able, it's very helpful to participate in the Duffel Shuffle each morning and evening as the guides appreciate the help loading and unloading all of the guest bags, sleeping gear, and camp and kitchen equipment. Set up your tent and sleeping area. After the rafts have been unloaded, you'll find your bags and take them to your chosen sleeping area and set up your space. The guides will give orientation of how to set up the camping gear, and then it's up to you. Pee into the river. During the day, all urine must go directly into the river. Some choose to wade into the river and others choose to squat at the river's edge. There can be very limited privacy, however. The rafts or natural geography can provide some cover. At camp, pee buckets are provided, so you don't have to find your way to the river in the dark. Walk to the toilet. While in camp, the guides will set up a camp toilet for solid waste. The toilet is often set well away from camp. The route to the toilet will likely be uneven, sandy, rocky, and brushy. Stay in an outdoor setting. This is a wilderness adventure. The weather, outdoor environment, and remote setting can bring its own set of challenges. You should be prepared for exposure to prolonged sun, heat, cold, wind, rain, cold water, thunderstorms, and other weather-induced events. The Arizona sun can be intense. Often people find they need to wear more sunscreen, cover up, drink more water, and eat more food in the canyon than they would at home. Optional Side Hikes Every trip provides the opportunity for hiking inside canyons along the river. These side hikes are optional and are a unique part of a river trip. Side hikes can vary greatly in length and difficulty. Some hikes may require moves that feel more like rock scrambling than hiking, and others may be short walks up a stream bed. The more you prepare physically, the more you'll be able to explore while on your trip. These are the basic physical elements for our trips. But keep in mind that some trip types can make your experience more demanding. It's also important to consider personal factors such as medical and mental conditions, weight, age, lack of conditioning, dietary restrictions, addictions, allergies, and any other factors that might make your experience more difficult and or dangerous to yourself or others. Please remember, all guests must meet minimum requirements outlined in the essential eligibility criteria found on our website. Our primary goal is to run river trips as safely as possible. If you have any questions regarding your ability to participate in a trip, please contact us. River trips are awe-inspiring, fun, physical, and a great way to challenge yourself. The thing to remember is, this is an adventure. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. See you on the river.